Taskmaster. No! Oh my god, it's another balloon. How'd you find me? Google that! Welcome to Greg Davies. I am not Greg Davies, nor am I the Taskmaster, Adam, FWCI, etc. Pleasure to have you with me for Taskmaster Season 7, Episode 6. This one's called A Coquettish Fascination. Now, I'm not at all the way up to date with my, uh, you know, small penis lingo, but... Is that what we're dealing with here? If you want early access to zingers such as that one right there, go to patreon.com slash fwci for five dollar redos a month. That's where you can get early access to Taskmaster and Brooklyn Nine-Nine while it's still going. Rest in peace to Andre Brewer. That sucks, man. Shit's Creek movies, whole bunch of other stuff. Let's just jump into it. We got the whole gang here and I mean, I, I never know what to expect going into this, but I always kind of assume chaos and chaos is usually what ensues. Hey, that's a bar right there. I assume chaos. So chaos is what is ensues. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll work on it. I'll work on it. Taskmaster, let's go. Hello. Hello. It's the 50th ever episode of Taskmaster. 50. Right, 50 far hoo hoo down in the comments to celebrate this milestone. He claims that he's six foot, but he's just below five. Let's all Alex Hall. <laughs> Yeah, he's six foot two. That's actually crazy tall. Ask them awesome to bring in the best key. A uh, curry. What's the special key you've brought in? I don't know what key this is in, but I'm gonna sing something in key. All right. <clears throat> that is my entrance. And if Jessica Nappett steals it, then I'm um, yeah, I'll just be happy. I can see the judgment in your eyes. What would you do for the best key? I mean, Jesus. I'm making this up as I go along. The key to my camper van. The key looks like this. Ready for the camper van? Yep. Oh, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, carry. What do you think the camper van looks like? I love the key. Oh, you put the <laughs> camper van to look like? You've put this in a surprise because you don't want to pay to have it towed away. <laughs> 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 you win this show. What are you going to do with that van? Uh, strip it for parts. Thank you. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, I'm not camping in that van, Godlyman. The G key from a piano. Here it is. Nice. There it is. Mm. <laughs> um, it's, um, G Which one's G? Uh, you know, I like it. Well, I say that. Uh, carries is better. But, <laughs> 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 yes, you, and you're right to do that, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Took and play that game, Phil. <laughs> I put it to you. <laughs> <laughs> It's called a key, a lime pie. <laughs> it counts. It counts. <laughs> Either heart task. Yes, okay. <laughs> genuinely delicious. Well, it genuinely is. <laughs> when the winner goes up to collect the prizes, you can eat that entire pie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> James A. Custer. I bought in. The key to my heart. He's brought in this. Very clever. Good work, good work. Sorry to interrupt. It's definitely going to come last. <laughs> Why? Wait. Why? Yeah, I didn't get it. Why? The ice cream's going to come last. Davies. Picture, this is going to be a picture of me looking fat. <laughs> Here is Rod's key. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly he's just like, all right, how can I apply that to this? Oh, well, James is in last place, bringing a bowl of ice cream. You suck, Greg. What about that shitty motor van? And it's a, a piano key. Have we all been beaten by the camper van? Yeah. Yeah, what the hell is going on here? It would appear so. <laughs> Five points to carry. Thanks. Yes. So. That's one of those inexplicable ones. How the fuck did that win? How did that happen? Oh, James. Shut the fuck up, Alex. Oh. <laughs> 
exactly 50 different things in this bin. Hit Alex in this bin, rolling down the hill, fastest wins. <laughs> <laughs> Time starts when Alex... Touches you on the shoulder, oh God. <laughs> Your time started, Rod. <laughs> right. Now he's thinking time. Yeah, have you have you thinking? <laughs> Seven. Oh hold on, what am I doing? Why have you got <laughs> why have you got three ukuleles, man? Eight. Nine. Ooh. Different rocks. 13, 14, 15, 16. 17, 18. Wasn't it different things? Oh, I feel like there's going to be some controversy at the end of this. I put exactly 50 things in this bin. Suck it. I put exactly 50 different things in this bin. Different things, guys. Exactly 50 different, different things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you get it, right? Oh. I was the only one who made the effort to put 50 mm. totally different And that is reflected in the time. Mm, or is it? <laughs> well, I shouted suck it at the end. Yeah. I felt good. Yes. Everyone, you two and Wolf from Gladiators. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to secure him one now for putting 50 different things in because I think it needs rewarding. So Phil was the slowest, so yeah. he gets one point, but you're giving him a bonus point for putting. <laughs> That's. Okay. I don't know. First part of the task and gets five points. Incredibly. Yeah. Wow. Wow. This is all their 50 things? Is it going to be put them back where they came from? Surely not. They did that very recently. Oh, oh hang on. Oh, was that on the Aussie one? Using all the items on this mat. Make the best picture of the Taskmaster. <laughs> hey, Jess Nappert. Good work. You want me to do a picture of the escaped Easter Island monument that you. <laughs> Run. I should have gone with something more varied than this. <laughs> oh, he's got a ukulele and 49 rocks. Quite how much my bulge is pushing out. Bulge? My bulge? Yeah, we all noticed that Wang. So people have told me in the comments Wang filmed all the solo tasks before he knew that. That was going on. Frowning, you're always frowning, you're not very smiley. And Phil said, I wish I'd filled the bin with pasty coloured things. <laughs> <laughs> this is their raw ingredients, Rod and Kerry, and this is what they ended up with. <laughs> Kerry did a good job. Kerry did a good job. As the neck demonstrates, there were enough oranges to give me two legs that are the same width. <laughs> A little fascinator. A little coquettish fascinator. Yes. You're going to a wedding. Oh, what the hell's a fascinator? And this is what they mustered up. Here we go. <laughs> oh, Jess. Why couldn't you draw with the... Are they big things of chalk, aren't they? It's an angry bird pig. Oh, in that case. Oh, my God, it is angry birds. What the and hell's what that oblong on my face? <laughs> More to the point, there's paint. <laughs> so it could have, like... Use the paint. Yeah, no fucking shit. Well, he transformed oh, that into the... these. <laughs> what? Did he do a little Alex Horn? Is it... How did Acaster win this task? Uh, <laughs> delightful and incredible is that you have managed to show the fear in Alex's face. <laughs> 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 Okay, so here's the five Greg faces. And I'm going to judge this based on which ones I think <laughs> look most like me. OK. <laughs> um, but, you know what, I think James has got it. It's just leaf. That's a, a leafy duck. What is this? <laughs> Three to carry. To carry. That's between Rod and James. Yeah, well, I what? think... What? How? <laughs> yeah. How is Rod still up there? But Jesus Christ, if I could give you ten, I would. Five points for James. <laughs> I'm glad James won it, though. But what the hell was Rob, Rob doing up there? The, with the, the fours and the fives. Phil's on 73. <laughs> then... <laughs> and Kerry's on 12, James is on 11. That's where we are at this... Holy shit. Phil, you are just drowning. And Rudd isn't even trying to win it. This one is... 
the next task. Alright, what? <laughs> Alright, what is this? What's with that fancy little intro there, little Alex? Ah, oh, team task! Let's go! Hello. Ah. Oh, hey Al. Thanks. Do it. You wang out of my face, Wang. Write oh. and perform the most suspenseful soap opera cliffhanger. Oh, hell yeah! That sounds awesome! Minutes to write a one minute scene. Your time starts now. Right. A one minute scene? Alright, I can I cannot wait to see what A Caster has got yeah, for this. Okay. Does he keep it? <laughs> Fuck it, I'll run. The boys attempt. <laughs> I like that joke. Oh, well, I told you about locking doors in this house. We don't have locked doors in this house. <laughs> I mean, you're miming it outside. Why don't you go inside and do it? Really? I'm going to be a dad? <laughs> If I'm gonna be an honest woman, James, then I better start telling the truth. No. There's someone else. Oh god, I thought he was gonna stand up with his wang and be like, I'm a man! <laughs> Rubber dub dub! Fucking hell. My heart is broken. Rubber dub dub! <laughs> I don't know, I guess that is a pretty decent cliffhanger. There's a bit of a twist ending, to be honest, though. The husband's clearly agitated. I was very wound up. What's he been doing for nine months? He's been downstairs waiting for his dinner. <laughs> That's why he's so hungry. Yeah. But because he should, should. She's a woman. She should have provided the food. You've yeah. been waiting for nine months. You're nearly dead. Yeah. <laughs> Thought that bit of acting yeah. was... OK. <laughs> I agree. It was... Acceptable. Only vocabulary in the whole scene <laughs> is uh, the phrase Robert Dub Dub. <laughs> Soap is called Feelings and there is a theme tune to it. Feelings hurt and feel good. Everybody's got feelings. Feelings hurt and feel good. <laughs> I had to watch. I know he's in there, Donna! <laughs> How'd you find me? Google that! <laughs> <laughs> you ever heard of all and hygiene? Ugh. They sound like um, my fair lady at the start before she gets classy. Cliffhanger? Holy shit! <laughs> of course it's Alex Horn. <laughs> oh, good lord. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Oh, and ten points for that. So, uh, your character's been having sex with her own son. <laughs> Oh, you puked, you puked because you'd had sex with your own son? Yeah, because yeah. it's... I thought it was because it was Alex. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say for a soap opera, not very much soap. However, in ours... <laughs> Good point. Thank you. But the main reason I'm going to give the boys one more point... What?! ...is because... Unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable, I agree. Everybody's Everybody has got <laughs> The boys get three points. Go. That is some, but that is some Tom Gleason level bullshit there, Taskmaster. Oh, ooh, those scores bothered me then. I'm, I'm feeling like Kerry Godleman right now. Just fucking, oh, what? You, fucking bad judge guy. Hiya. <laughs> Hi, Alex. Hello, Jess. Oh, I love boxes, inside boxes. Oh, Kerry, why did you say that? Why is this going to be your worst nightmare? Because this task already gives me friggin' anxiety. What is going on here? Put all the pairs of glasses into the smallest of these boxes. You must select your box before leaving the caravan and may not then change your mind. 
Smallest box containing all the pairs of glasses. Alex Horn, explain this one to me. Give me some exposition. What are we doing here? They had to choose which box they thought they could fit 10 pairs of glasses in. Yep. The smallest box that successfully was packaged with those glasses wins. That makes sense? Oh, the smaller. Oh, I thought you meant you had to use the smallest. Oh, no. How big are these glasses? Yeah. Fuck. Ah. Didn't see this coming. Do you know what I had in my head? Pairs of glasses. Yes, that's right, Kerry. <laughs> Gosh, she's a little bit slow on the uptake. Sure, was a couple of glasses that are bigger than the box. Yeah, funnily enough, I'm not going anywhere near those ones, Alex. Do you have to select your box before you leave the caravan, or can you go? I don't think it said you had to, like, just choose the box straight away. That's shut. Is it? Shut. And just some people are just not going to be able to shut it. Yeah, God, can't be straightforward, can it? <laughs> Throughout the series, he knows how to pack things in tightly. Can <laughs> can he combine? His wang isn't on the screen. Stop making me picture the wang. Drinking glasses or something, and put pairs of drinking glasses in there. Wang, 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 wang. <laughs> What the fuck did he do? Trying to be too clever with the stacking. What? Are you kidding? That's heartbreaking. <sighs> Wang, how is he losing by so much? But the rule was that you weren't allowed to break a pair of glasses. <gasps> oh, a loophole. Loophole for justice. Justice for Wang. Wang, Wang, Wang on the door, baby. You must select your box before leaving the car. Remember, you're like, such a dick. <laughs> mm. Now, what we got now here is a packing job. Oh, don't put the the dainty champagne glasses in first. And sideways? What the fuck are you doing? I'm wising up to the taskmaster. Yes, you are. <laughs> With the lid shut properly, please. Fucking hell, Rod. You cheated and you still just botched this as bad as a botch could be botched really happy with that oh my god Jessica Knappert sounds like Jessica Rabbit I just realised that what I thought they were were massive spectacles <laughs> I'm with you and may not then change your mind I didn't see him selecting the box before running out of the caravan <laughs> and looking at all the glasses and then running back and then still picking a very small box <laughs> yeah, what? so you both got them all in, but Phil's box is small. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bit. Nah, bit. <laughs> yes, of course. So Phil gets five. He does. He completed the task. Yeah. Jeff All right, deserved. Actually deserved. Phil and Rod are tied in last place with 13. Kerry is out in front still with 17 points. OK. Ooh, I don't think... Depending on how the scoring of the final task goes, I don't know if Wang can win it. Get your donut as high as possible. You must be holding hands with the people on either side of you at all times. Highest donut after 100 seconds wins. What? Here we go, guys. Best of luck to you. <laughs> okay, 100 seconds. Good work. Good work, eh, Caster? Oh, wow. 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 <laughs> the audience screwed him over. This is madness. This is just insanity. Please tell me Acasters is still on his head, though. Yes? What an absolute shit show. But a fun shit show. So this is what was going on the stage. Your facial expression pretty good. <laughs> No, no! Wait, can we see Acaster there? Where is he? Wang is closer to the camera. Let go. I was thrown around and I took the opportunity to move Let things go. forward. <laughs> move things forward, huh? <laughs> Moving ahead. So Jess got the donut lower than it actually was at the beginning. <gasps> no, Rod, Rod's is highest. Rod's is up in the crowd. 
cheating. Yeah, it's a shame. It wasn't cheating. It was mean-spirited. But, mm. hey, it's a tough game. Taskmaster's not going to do that. He's not going to do that. James gets three, Phil gets four, but the winner of that task is Mr Rod Gilbert. Wow. Wow. I thought they were trying to, like, make him lose, but, yeah, fuck. <laughs> Uh, with... Home run, eh, Caster? What shall I do? To which Rat replied, Frankly, my dear, a rubber dub dub. <laughs> We're also back to learn whether Alex Horn can eat an entire. <gasps> yeah, let's go. What do you got, Horn? Oh, the key? Alright. Jesus, Alex. Alright. I hope that's good. Eating his ice cream with the key, with the with the key, the piano key. Wow, not a bad episode. Not a bad episode. A lot of confusion with the rules and a lot of these tasks in this episode. I feel like I don't know if that's because they're too complicated or if it's just because we've got a motley crew of contestants on um, this particular season. But the highlight for me was the cul-de-sac. That whole exchange between the two of them, they both, I don't know if they do acting and stuff like that, but they both were like really, really, really deeply in character. And then that like exchange at the end when they're all like looking at each other and ah, oh, that was amazing. Greg's point distribution in this episode. I got questions, I got a lot of questions. And for those who didn't watch my Aussie Taskmaster reaction, check this shit out. Form a celebratory personal theme tune. Alright, so we all making songs? Alright, Luke, what the fuck is going on? He's against Nuke. Leah War. He's a uh, Gr McGregor, you fucked it. You fucked it, buddy. Gleason, if you make that number one, I swear to fucking God. So like, obviously, you rhymed your name, Luke, with fluke, puke, and then nuke. <laughs> Name is Danny Ellen. I am sick as hell. I'm cooler than <laughs> this. This is what you do, Jimmy. Only your beast. <laughs> and I can make a mean ragu. Because <laughs> I'm desensitized to their poo. <laughs> I work at a dog hotel. <laughs> <laughs> My mom said I'd be a great nurse because I don't smell poo. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Jesus. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm an angel and the ass of a demon. <laughs> Oh, you killing me! You are fucking killing me! <laughs> I, so I feel like it. the lyrics were really the star oh, of this shit. performance. Um, voice of an angel, <laughs> ass of a demon. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great line. Yeah, I love good one. But Jimmy I'm giving two points to Danny L. What? What the fuck? No. Up yours, Gleason. Yeah, boo. Boo earns. That's really going to change my mind. <laughs> You bold prick. That's the level of incompetence we saw from Greg Davies in this episode, but I still enjoyed it. Acaster was on his A game. That sounds like a pun, but it wasn't meant to be. Acaster is on his A game, and uh, Phil Wang, I kind of want him to get a win. I don't know how he isn't. He's doing a good job in all the tasks, but he seems to just like always get bad luck, you know? But. I appreciate you checking this video out. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and go to patreon.com slash FWCI if you want early access to my future Taskmaster videos. And as always, everyone, be well, stay safe, look after your friends. See you in the next video. Peace.